to go and have some fun Relaxation in the summer sun Riding the waves of the ocean Mm. I've been searching for a mighty long time What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Steph here and today we are on board the beautiful Serenade of the Seas and we are right now sailing through Hubbard Glacier. It is gorgeous. This is the reason I requested Alaska all summer. Anyway, it is time to have the best sushi at sea, Izumi Asian cuisine. But before we get into it, you know how we do it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Please comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. 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 Let's get into it. So, Azumi Sushi is located all the way in the back of the ship, and you kind of got to go outside to uh, get in there. But I just wanted to show you all the view that you're gonna get at your table like look at that it's absolutely beautiful right? taking care of you you come back home feeling brand new it's the only way to cruise i'm choosing royal because uh, they're so good to me i'm choosing royal. so guys my server's name is eric he took care of me last time hello hey everybody eric where are you from from the from philippines and <laughs> he took such good care of me i came back and i brought you guys with me so let me show you this view right outside your window of hubbard glacier like this is what you get this is the time to come okay so let's sit down order some hot sake and i'll show you azumi sushi Guys, this is so cool. I feel like we've rented out the restaurant to ourselves because everybody else on the ship is outside looking at the glaciers. But to us seasoned cruisers, we know like you still get a view of the glaciers and you can eat some of the best sushi at sea. So before we get started with our food, I've ordered a large hot sake to keep us nice and warm and snuggly. And I will show you all the menu. I always get the same exact thing every time. Uh, two orders of the shrimp firecracker spring rolls. It's deep fried shrimp, crab meat, sambal chili, and cream cheese. And then I just get one of the crispy Philly rolls. And they are, it's just, you know, when you find what you like, don't break it, you know what I'm saying? Everything is a la carte. It's not like you do with chops where you pay a, uh, you know, a flat rate. It, everything is, you know, you pay separately. Um, oh my gosh, look at this view, y'all. Hold on a second. Yeah. So for those of y'all that are new to my channel, I have to start saying this in my videos so that you know when there's new people that come along you all understand you know what's going on hi mr Thanks eric thank you see they give you the fancy warm towel to wipe your hands off anyway i'm an entertainer for royal caribbean i do a tribute to whitney houston and uh, if you want to see the show go to diva of the seas.com slash tour diva of the seas .com. anyway um for those of you all that have you know, my homies, y'all keep up with what's going on. I do this segment called Juno Where to Eat, and it's in Juno, Alaska, and I take you guys to all of my food places just like this. And I was supposed to, this video was supposed to be that, and something happened. And if you wanna know what happened, <laughs> I'll include it in the bonus footage at the end of this video because I was so disappointed with what happened, but I want to keep the beginning of this video positive, you know what I'm saying? For the new people, welcome to the shenanigans. So I'm just waiting on my hot sake and then I'm going to order my shrimp firecracker spring roll and I'll check back in with you guys in a bit, eh? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do the shrimp firecracker spring roll. And I'm gonna do two orders of those, but you can put it all together. Yeah. And can I get an extra of that uh, sambal chili sauce? Sambal chili? Yes. Spicy mayo. 
Uh, not the spicy mayo. You want uh, some, some, sambal on the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah extra, okay. you know, extra, whatever you dip it in. Yeah. This sambal okay. chili. Fabulous. And then I'm gonna wait and order my roll oh, for a second. Good. Is that cool? Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they give you complimentary edamame and it's very warm. Check it out, check it out. You know what I'm saying? And it's so good. Mm. And it's really warm. And then you have your large hot sake, because you can't do sushi without sake. You can't do sushi without sake, you know what I'm saying? So, cheers everybody. Here's to, how many subs are we at? 1,560 subscribers. That's just incredibly, you know what I'm saying? So, cheers to you all. I love you. Let's have a good, good lunch. That's good. All right, see you in a bit. I'm choosing royal. Ooh, they treat me like a queen. Just come and say. I'm choosing royal. Ooh, cause they're so good to me. I'm choosing royal. Best ships that I've ever seen. I'm choosing royal. Ooh, they treat me like a queen. Just oh my goodness. I have been sitting here waiting on the captain to like stop making his announcement so I can film so I can take this bite. This is bite has been sitting here. Like, <laughs> I'm so hungry. I went to the gym today, had a good workout so I can eat what I want today for you all. I mean, mm, shrimp, cream cheese, deep fried. This is why you have to get two because if you're here with someone, if I was here like on a date or something, I'm not sharing this. You know, get your own. You know, what's the commercial? No, my brother. You got to buy your own. So good, Eric. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you, my friend. I am so happy. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Eric is amazing. This is my favorite thing to get. Like, mm, I mean, you got the view of the glaciers outside. What else do you need? So, I want to share some good news with you all before I get to the whack news at the end of this video. Um, so Katina, you know, the lady with the uh, the um, lost luggage. My boss tells me that uh, we got audited last uh, last week, last cruise, and I'm like, "What is audit? You know, what does that mean?" So basically, someone comes on board, an auditor comes on board, all of the ships, all the Royal Caribbean fleet, to make sure that the Royal Caribbean brand is being upheld, meaning everything from housekeeping to uh, entertainment, the bars, everything. To make sure things are in tip top or ship shape <laughs> anyway he told me that the auditor was you know finishing up it was the last night of the cruise and she had just seen my acoustically said show and she saw the whitney show and he was just like they you know they loved you and our ship came in second place under the odyssey which the odyssey is the new you know a new ship so of course they're going to come in you know first but we're in second place, all of the fleet. So a whoop whoop, a whoopity scoop, a zoopity zoop, right? But then he says to put the cherry on top. Mm. Put the cherry on top. That's a cherry right there, boy. Um, he says Katina came up to him while he's standing there finishing up with the order. And she was like, do you know Stephanie? And he was like, yeah, she's already gone. She had the bag of clothes that I gave her. I was like, can you please give this to her? She And then he, she proceeds to tell him what I did, you know, giving her the clothes or whatever. And if you don't know what happened, go back and watch the Whitney Houston cruise ship show video. I explained the whole thing. Anyway, um, mm, mm. So, He's like, please tell her thank you. 
nobody's ever done anything like that. I didn't know she was the entertainer, blah, 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 right? This happened in front of the auditor. And John was like, you can't even, cruise director, he was like, you can't even make that up or time that any better. For her to come up to me in front of the auditor and say that you did that. So that just, the auditor was already pleased with everything. But to know that one of the guest entertainers went above and beyond to like, you can't tell me God ain't real. Because he was like, what made you do that? I said, the Lord. I said, I, you know, I've really been working on my spiritual journey and getting closer to the Lord. And he told me to, you know, give her my clothes. And I did. And the only reason she started talking to me was because she saw my pink Bible. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited about that. I was happy to do it, you know, without any kind of... Uh, recognition or anything but the fact that that happened and when it happened and who it happened in front of divine order y'all anyway just want to share that with you all I like telling my stories um, this is so good and again this is the shrimp and firecracker spring roll they are nine dollars a la carte Azumi sushi I'm gonna enjoy this mm, mm, mm. And I'll check back in with you when it's time to order the, uh, well, I'll just tell you, I'm going to get the crispy Philly roll, okay? I love it. It's salmon, avocado, cream cheese, flash fried, and panko breadcrumbs, champagne sauce, and spicy aioli. And I always get extra um, sambal aioli, aioli with the, the sauce that comes with the shrimp firecracker rolls, get extra, and that way you can dip your sushi in this as well. Like, I'm giving y'all all the tea okay <laughs> anyway i'll check back in with you guys when the sushi is here Make sure you ask for Eric. He will take amazing care of you. He will spoil the crap out of you. Thank you, Eric, for taking Welcome. care of me. <laughs> He's awesome. Thank you. Okay, guys, our food is here. We don't have the restaurant to ourselves anymore, but that's okay. Um, so, how to set up your sushi if you want to do a diva of the sea style. First of all, you've still got that um, sambal chili sauce that came with your firecracker spring rolls. And what I like to do is just dump it all on top of my roll, you know what I'm saying? And that looks so good and yummy. I'll show you guys a close-up shot. You also want to take your wasabi, and I like my, you know, my sauce to be really, really hot. So you take that, you drop it into your soy. And look, if you don't like spice, don't use as much as I use, okay? And then you just want to take your chopsticks and just mix that all up together. I get mine also with extra ginger because I'm a ginger kind of gal, you know what I'm saying? And then what I also do, once I get now, it's going to take some time to mix your wasabi in. If you like it, you know, to have some kick like I do, I might even grab a little bit more because I just like the spice, okay? Anyway mix that all up together and then I take even more of this sambal chili sauce and I pour a little bit in there too with the soy I'm telling y'all this is how to do it this is how you do izu this is how you do izu mm -hmm. this is how you do izu <laughs> can you tell I love making up songs when I was little okay so let's get our first bite Pick up your sushi, dunk it. Oh wait, I'm sorry. You have to put a piece of ginger on top of your sushi, right? Because you want the ginger to cover the whole piece. Like that, right? Then you take it and you dunk it in that soy, wasabi, sambal chili mixture, right? And then you eat it. You try to stuff the whole thing in your mouth. That's what she said, I'm sorry, Jesus. Mm. 
Mom, I know you're tired of getting slapped. This I know. But I gotta slap you because it's slap your mama worthy. So, hello, Mom. So good, you guys. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna take my. <laughs> the chefs are laughing at me. Hi, guys. Compliments to the chef. Amazing. Thank you. They're so nice, guys. You gotta come in here and say, hey, I watched the Diva of the Seas video. And we came in here because Steph told, it, told us to come. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, sushi is so good. I fell in love with sushi of my cousin Candace when I came to Vegas when I was little I used to come out to Vegas when I was little and dream of living there so I can't believe that you know I live there now anyway I gotta take this big bite mm. and then I went over to Japan when I was a production singer and I got to taste stuff for real sushi and experience the Japanese culture. It's just, it was just some of the best food I've ever had. So I love the whole process of it all. It's like a, a tea party, you know? Over in England, they've got the scones and the crumpets and the tea and everything is just so delicate. I love it. And then you have your cute, just the glasses, you know? I have a sake set too I brought from Japan with me. Cheers. It's just amazing. If you are on board any Royal Caribbean ship that has a Zumi, you gotta check it out, man. It's so, so good, so fresh. And on these Alaska cruises, the salmon, I don't know if it's because um, we're up here closer to the, you know, to the fresh seafood, but the salmon in this roll is even better than what I had when I was on, uh, when did I do a Zumi? Adventure of the Seas, I think I went on Adventure so good so um i just yeah man yeah best sushi at sea for sure okay so i am going to finish my food up i don't want it to get cold i will see you for the bonus footage so i can let let y'all know what happened child and juno like anyway I will check back in with you for the bonus footage. Make sure you comment and like and subscribe and turn on your notification, notification, notifications. I will see you all in the bonus footage. Thank y'all so much for watching. Just come and say I'm choosing Roy. Okay guys, so we're back in the room. Well, I'm on the balcony, which is why you gotta book these balconies on these Alaskan cruises, cause I mean, look at the view you get. Um, anyway, this is what happened. Juno know where to eat, right? I was so excited to film this segment. I hate saying I'm gonna do something and then I don't do it for you guys cause I know you guys are watching and you're looking forward to it. So look, I'm gonna insert some footage and show you I was working for you all. So we were supposed to find the best pizza in Alaska, right? And I had heard about this place called Devil's Club Brewery, Devil's Club Brewery, you know, and they do pizza on every Wednesday. So I called ahead of time just to make sure that they were doing pizza. They were like, yeah, we're doing pizza literally an hour before I got there, right? So I get there, you all see, I'm shooting the footage, I'm shooting the restaurant, I tell them what I'm doing and they're excited and blah, blah, blah. So I get in line to get ready to place my order, you know? And I'm not gonna lie, I felt convicted about promoting a place that had devil in their name. So maybe this is the Lord working with me because I didn't really feel right about the name. You know, I don't want to promote anything that got the devil in it. So anyway, I'm standing in line, getting ready to place my order, right? Literally, I've been in the restaurant, taking footage. You see what I'm shooting. Maybe I've been in there five minutes and they're all excited. Then I get in line and they're like, getting ready to order the pizza. 
And people have pizza on their tables, on their plates. People are eating pizza. So they've been making pizzas. And they're like, oh, we're not making pizzas today because something happened in the kitchen or something's wrong. So you all figure that out in the five minutes I've been in the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? So there was no pizza. I couldn't shoot anything. I was so disappointed for you guys, but it's okay because we ended up shooting a zoomy today i didn't even plan on doing a zoomy but everything works out in his favor because now i don't have to promote someplace with devil in their name you know what i'm saying so sorry guys if you're in juno i can't tell you to go there As a matter of fact don't go there because there's no guarantee that they're going to be serving pizzas on wednesday because apparently they just cancel at the last minute so anyway that's why there was no juno where to eat but we're in Ketchikan tomorrow, and I'm gonna try and find these chicken wings. Y'all have been asking about these chicken wings for the last month and a half. I'm finally gonna get off and catch a can tomorrow and try to find them. Hopefully I will. If not, it's not my fault. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'll try and show you all. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's why there was no Juno where to eat. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up going back to Salt and getting that burger again. And I actually met the owner Ron, hey Ron, if you're watching, um, and he's a God-fearing man, you know what I'm saying? So we talked about the Lord, so I'm just saying, you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and maybe he didn't want me promoting anything with devil in it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this bonus footage. I'll see you in the next video. Hey. Lady, thanks you for watching.